known by its map designation as Area 51. We're now learning Area 51. Known as Area 51. Thank you Near for clearing area that up. Area 51. Thank you. Known as Area 51. Because Area 51 is very important. They called him Jimmy. And everybody wanted to be his friend. What's good? What's good? Welcome here, Area 51, here with your host, Jimmy. Hope everything is good with y'all. Okay. Just give me a like here, subscribe, and also, you know, become part of our community here in Golden Era where we're trying to, you know, gather a boxing community worldwide that really cares about boxing and none of this garbage about A side, B side, and undefeated fighters. Screw that. We want to see, you know, fighters fight each other and, you know, not put excuses. So give us a like, subscribe, and also check our website, goldenerraboxing.com, for all those who like history and other stories that we have there exclusive just for boxing fans all right so with all that said you know i want to talk a little bit about you know this upcoming fight coming up with david benavides and caleb plant i believe like as i mentioned before that david benavides will win this fight i think right now he's doing really good conditioning i think he's getting strong and i think i've never seen him that focused on this fight which makes him very dangerous because in the other fights even though he did well i didn't see the amount of focus that he's focusing right now he knows that this is a very important fight and a fight that he cannot lose no matter what on the other hand you have caleb plant who is also a very talented fighter a boxer who you know can box he can you know counter he's he's good he's a good fighter and who also has a lot of he has a lot to lose in this fight caleb plant cannot lose this fight because if caleb plant loses this fight he knows that he will be forgotten and he's gonna become like a third tire boxer now this is kind of like the story that happens in today's boxing where people who lose or put down i don't believe that i still would believe that he's still a good fighter but it's just certain styles that you can beat and others you just cannot beat. So I don't think he has the style to be David Benavides. And as I broke down in other videos, you can check it out um, in the other videos that I broke down here in Golden Era. But uh, one of these two guys is going to lose this Saturday. And it's important that, you know, they're very focused on this fight. Caleb Plant is going to have to really box and he's going to have to tie up David Benavides and not let him do his game if he wants to win this fight. It's going to be boring from Caleb Plant. Everybody who's saying that they see Caleb Plant winning this fight, he's going to have to make it a game, a clinch game. That's the only way he can beat David Benavides. And if he uses his clinch, I think he has a good chance in beating David Benavides. On the other hand, David Benavides, all that he needs to do is just... I would recommend him to throw more his jab in this fight because uh, he does throw his jab, but not as much. And I believe that once he throws his jab, then he should go and start countering and throwing those very hefty and hard shots, you know, which sometimes they are unpredictable because you don't know if he's going to hit you with an uppercut, he's going to hit you with a hook. You don't know what's coming to you. So Dave Benavides has the power that has the boxing to you know do what he does best which is come forward and destroy now Caleb Plant is going to have to back up and fight on his bicycle and move laterally if he wants to win this fight and he's got to be very concentrated in this fight he cannot stop paying attention like he did with Canelo Alvarez I know a lot of people say well Canelo Alvarez was a really tested fighter um well he was tested against British fighters and yes, he did fight Daniel Jacobs, but he did have a close fight with Aries Landy Lara, and he never took the rematch. And on top of that, if you think of the fight, you know, he also lost against Fleming with a junior. I know he was young, and um, I think he was a little younger than David Benavides is right now. I think David, is, I don't know what the age of David is, but he was a little younger. But still, you know, losing is losing and winning is winning. And in the sport of boxing, you got to win and, you know, you got to win if that's part of your career. So to me, Caleb Plant needs to really, really, really just use his jab and move and pay attention and stay focused. Because 
if Canelo Alvarez was able to walk him down and hurt him, I can't imagine what David Benavides is going to do. And even though David Benavides has differences in, you know, as far as the characteristic, uh, the character of the fight, the character of the style, um, he still doesn't have to move like Canelo Alvarez in order to launch his bombs and really hurt you. So Caleb Plan is going to be have to be very on his, you know, Q's and T's in this one because it's not going to work too well for him if he gets distracted. Now, I do believe that this will end up in TKO. I believe David Benavides will beat Caleb Plan. And I think Caleb Plan, uh, what he showed me in the Canelo fight is the true Caleb Plan. And the Anthony Durrell is pretty much a fighter who was, you know, leaving the sport at that point and you know it's not going to be the same fight so we'll see what happens saturday i still have dave benavides um i know the plan is working hard i a lot of people say have you seen his abs and yada 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 yeah but i've also seen the workout of david i and he's working really hard too so that doesn't really uh tell me anything so David uh, for the TKO in this fight, possibly a KO, and uh, I believe that this is how the fight's, uh, fight's going to end. But um, anyway, whoever wins is going to have to face Canelo, and Canelo is probably scared as shit if David Benavides wins because Canelo knows that David is going to fuck him up. I mean, that's the truth. Canelo knows that David is going to wipe him out, and it's going to be the end of that, that clown. I, I can't stand that dude. And if he doesn't fight him, then... You know, we got Dave Morrell Jr. waiting for him. And we know he's not going to fight Dave Morrell Jr. So from there on, David is going to have to, you know, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what, what David does and what Canelo does. But I guarantee he's going to back hate the bells. He ain't fighting David. He a pussy. So anyway, that's um, that's uh, my opinion for now. Give us a like, subscribe to Golden Era Boxing. We're the realists when it comes down to boxing. And uh, we're very biased when it comes down to boxing, but very unbiased when it comes down to boxer. So give us a like, subscribe, and to the next one. Peace out, and deuces cruises like they say in New Mex.